Yes, up next is Reginald Beck from Federal Way and uh, Reg, what, what, how do you pronounce it? The Zocoto or Zocato? Zocoto. Zocoto, okay. Tell us a little bit about it because the, 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 the ingredients I see in front of me, it's going to be really good. The past good, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carol, uh, what, how, how, what do you know about this dish? Oh, this is, well, this is an Italian dish, which, so Reginald has chosen something that's one of my true favorites here. And it's really much like the Italian version of a French Charlotte. Um, and so, Reginald, where did we get started? Where did this recipe come from? Let's, actually, let's start in... this recipe actually started from an inspiration from, there's two schools of thought on this. Basically, let's go ahead and get started with the sure, chocolate you mousse. Bet. That's let's good get idea. that started here. Okay, so what do you have okay. in the bowl here? What we have here, we want to start with lining a one and a half quart uh, pan here, or bowl. Mm -hmm. And you want you it want... round, Yes, right? you want to have it kind of a dome shaped right here. Okay. And then what you want to do is line it either with your uh, pound cake or with lady fingers. And what wow. we do is before we fill this up, we want to go ahead and soak it with a simple combination of orange liqueur. Mmm, yum, George. That oh, sounds great. Yeah. Now, for the non-alcoholic version, you can blend and puree some uh, orange marmalade with a little mm -hmm. orange juice, and that would work fine. A little simple need syrup. need that extra little bit of sweetness in there. Yes. That on pound cake would be just <sighs> quite good. <laughs> quite, quite good. Truly, truly yummy. And of course, just to see just how good it is. Ooh. We have one we for the chef, sample? and we have one Thank for you, George. <laughs> there we go, sir. Mm. This so is good do. all by itself. I know this is going to be spectacular. So all we do is get it nice and soaked on both sides. Mm. And as you can see, I've already got the bowl lined. Based on this, call. Based yes, on indeed. This because it is really good. All righty, so we mm. get the bottom lined, okay. and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put now in the recipe, all we did was just put the filling in for the uh, whipped cream and the nuts and the chocolate, but uh, we're going to do something a little different today. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some chocolate Ooh, mousse chocolate. in there first. Chocolate and orange. How bad is this mm. going to be, George? Uh, it's it's going to be no, awesome. Absolutely. It's not be bad at all. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we'll give that to the maestro yeah, for, here. For the people who are clearing the table after we're done, leave it here a little bit so we can get two bites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now what we'll do is, uh, George, if you could hand me that whipped cream. You betcha. Oh my, look at that. So you put this in a round bowl because we're going to turn this out and it's going to be, go ahead. Yes. It's going to come out in a nice, lovely round shape because it's supposed to be shaped like a dome, correct? Exactly. Because mm -hmm. it's named after? Actually, this there's two schools of thought on this one. Uh, it was named after the dome in Florence, Italy, and right, the, the other one. The other thing was the uh, the cardinal skull cap is also called a zucotto. Uh -huh. So there's ah, two schools okay. of thought on that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hand this over to George just for okay. a second. Sure. And we're going to go ahead and fold in the uh, chocolate. What we've done is we've ground some chocolate and we've ground some almonds. So we're just going to go ahead and dump that right in. We've already whipped up the cream. <laughs> make sure you keep your cream nice and cold when you whip it up there. Now we're not going to really beat this, but we're going to fold it. So all the way down, twist. All the way down, mm. twist, and we don't have to baby so it too much. So you can use whatever kind of nuts you like. Really you sure now. can. As a matter mm. of fact, you don't even have to use nuts if you don't want. Okay. I've seen some versions where they use whipped cream on one layer and they layer it like a parfait with fruit. Right. Oh, that'd be a good idea. So for those who don't like nuts, that's a pleasant alternative. So we're just oh, about done here. Oh, that it's coming great. in together. Doesn't that look wonderful? Good. This is a good easy dish you can prepare a few days ahead as well. Get your cream whipped up, keep it covered and nice and cold, and you'll so be just be a, in fine. This would be a great dish to take uh, to a potluck. Exactly. Oh, indeed it would. Yeah. Boy, would you be a hero. This can easily oh, be prepared. be truly wild. This can easily be prepared gluten-free as well. If you get a recipe for a gluten-free pound cake, that's all you would actually need. So at Perfect. this point, we'll put it back. Okay. Thank you. Hold that just for a second. And now we'll go ahead and fill it just a little bit. Sure. And all we're going to do is just basically fill it, get it compressed <laughs> down in there. That is going to be so good, folks. It is going to be so wonderful. Uh, it's so good, it's bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that thought crossed my mind. So, you know, there are a lot of other cultures that have something similar to this. In, uh, in England, they do this with fruit and gelatin, and they call it summer, uh, summer oh. pudding. All right, so what we're going to do is to prepare the bottom, we're just going to simply coat some more pieces of cake, 
And let's now, just say, is, it, is this a, this is not the pound cake. This nope. Is, this, this is a different cake. This what? is a good thing to do with leftover cake. Yeah, exactly. This if is there's the such thing Great in idea. your home as leftover cake. And what we'll do is get these generously soaked and we'll start putting it together. And all we need is just something that'll basically provide a decent base. This can be cookies, mm -hmm. leftover, it doesn't really matter. Enough to fill that Just up. enough to fill it. One more, and that should do it. Oh, right in the middle, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Get it on the other side there. And we are fine. Well, this needs a chance to set, doesn't it? It sure does. Okay, we so did. what happens next? So what we do now is we basically fold this over. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a plate on the very bottom of it. You can actually fold it with foil, but we're going to take one of the one, green one plates One of the green here. plates, all mm -hmm. right. There we go. We're going to put that over the top. Aha. Uh -huh. We're going to just let it set aside for a second. Okay. So normally this would go into the refrigerator. Yes. To want... set up for however long until you're ready to serve it. At right? least about three hours That's to right. overnight. So overnight is always best. Over, Everything yeah. gets to set and exactly. flavors get to combine in there. Be yummy. And it always tastes much better the second day after the syrup is actually sure. set in. That's true of sure. a whole lot of food, you know that? Just yes, let it sit for a day yeah. and get those tastes going. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side for a minute. Okay. And George, I need you to bring the Ladyfinger version right out of the refrigerator. Oh, okay. So, Reginald, I know that oh, we're going to oh, plate oh. this up here. Um, and what have you decided to garnish it with on the plate? Okay, we're going to garnish this Wait with Wait till a... you see this one. <laughs> We're going to garnish this with a simple chocolate ganache mm -hmm. and a raspberry orange sauce mm. and cocoa powder. Very nice. Now, the nice. cocoa powder, you can always use espresso powder as well. Sure, okay. So now what we do is we make sure our plastic is peeled all the way off. Okay. Now we get another green plate on the bottom there. You got it. And we'll simply just put it right on the top there. And we just flip it. Very nice. We say the magic Italian words, antipasto. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do the unmolding. Let's see. There we go. Oh, we're coming. There, there we, we go. There we go. We hand oh, that to the maestro. Oh, oh, oh. Ta -da! And there we have it. Oh, my. So now we get us a nice plate. Uh -huh. Does we are that look prepare. amazing? Isn't that beautiful? And now you see why it okay. looks like the dome. Yeah, so okay. let's that see what you're going to do on this folks. plate here. Seven <laughs> minutes in so, your kitchen. If you have it all pre-measured, pre seven minutes. And look at the dessert you'd serve. A little dollop of the ganache on there. And that's okay. to George. Okay. A little dollop. Set that here in case we need it again. Ooh, that really raspberry good. orange sauce. to echo that right, orange exactly. that you've soaked the lady fingers in. Thank you. And then we have a knife there for the cutting. Indeed we do. Wait till you see what this looks like inside. Okay, that's the so first this cut. dish could easily serve eight to twelve people. Oh, exactly. Indeed. Unless you're at my house, it might serve two. <laughs> <laughs> At my house, you might serve one. And a pie wedge there. Okay, are we ready? You ready? Drum oh, look at that. Ooh, oh. look at that. And what I did is in the middle, I did a little orange marmalade there in the middle. Yummy. And we have one more breakfast surprise here for the breakfast of champions. We mixed up a little whipped cream, and this time instead of dark chocolate, we used white chocolate and almonds. Mm -hmm. And we'll give a little dollop that of that. on the side. That is so hey. fantastic. Then, of course, one more white plate for the taste. You got it. Oh, yes. Well, we definitely... And are we ready here? We are ready. Could I interest you in a fork, Carol? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> sure Thank fun, you. Baby. Yeah, let's see. Let's put just a little bit of that on there. We have to have the garnish here. We've got a whole this minute and a half left over for delicious. tasting, so... Uh, there we go. Will it tastes like Italy. Will that pass it inspection? It does. It tastes like Italy. Mm. This <laughs> way more than passes, Reggie. <laughs> way more. Very good. Most Didn't excellent. think you were going to call today, huh? <laughs> you call for this one if you don't call for anything else. That is fantastic. It what is. What a great dessert. Okay. <laughs> I'm still busy eating here. 800-443-1999. <laughs> don't pass this by. 
This was done in seven minutes. If you just pre-measure everything, you can do it in your kitchen and you can just set the family right on its ear because this is magnificent. Give us a call. Thank you very, very You're much. Great. Wonderful. Good to see you again. Birthday candles on top. Oh, yeah.